Welcome to Charm Health, your cloud-based electronic health record, practice management, and medical billing solution. This Charm bi-directional interface video tutorial explains how interface works between bi-directional interface labs and Charm EHR for sending orders and receiving results electronically. In this video, we are going to cover topics on how to create and transmit lab orders to bi-directional integrated labs on patient visit from encounter, how to create and transmit lab orders from lab orders section without creating an encounter, receiving results electronically from integrated labs and reviewing the received ones, creating and transmitting lab orders from encounter. Lab orders can be created from the chart note and lab orders section. In this section, we are going to see creating lab orders from a chart note on a patient's visit and transmitting them electronically to Charm Labs. Search patient and create encounter. From the diagnosis section, add diagnosis. In recommendation section, select order labs tab. Search and add option can be used to add the labs. Choose the integrated lab name in the lab dropdown. In this case, Charm Lab has established bi-directional interface with your practice account. Full test compendium of the integrated lab will be loaded into your account. Search the test name you are looking for by entering few characters of the test name or by test code. Matching tests will be listed in the auto suggestion dropdown. Selecting the test from an auto suggestion list will add the test into the chart note. If selected test has ask at order entry or AOE questions, questions will pop up. Fill in the answers and add the test to the chart note. Edit AOE option can also be used to edit the filled in AOE details. Multiple tests can be searched and added to the lab order. Map DX. Once you have ordered the lab test, next you have to map the patient's active diagnosis to the lab orders using Map DX. Map All DX checkbox can be used to map all the active diagnosis of the patient to all tests. Diagnosis can also be mapped at a test specific level. Transmit lab order. After adding all the tests into the chart note, use transmit to initiate electronic transmission process. In transmit view, lab orders added to the chart note will be listed. Send order electronically option will display the lab order summary view. Here you can verify the details of the lab order. You can also edit the AOE if needed. The next button takes you to the billing details screen. If you have in-house laboratory and collecting specimen for this lab order in in-house labs, please fill the specimen collection date and time. Bill type. Lab can be billed in three ways such as client, patient, and third party. You can select the option based on the individual who pays the lab fee. 1. If the bill is client, practice is taking responsibility to pay the lab fee. 2. If the bill type is patient, the lab fee will be paid by the patient directly to the laboratory. Guarantor details are mandatory for all the patient and third-party billing types. If a guarantor is configured in the patient demographic section, it will automatically be pulled here. 3. If you select the third-party billing, then the lab fee will be paid by the insurance company. In addition to the guarantor details, third-party billing requires insurance details. Insurance details are pulled from Patient Demographics, Patient Details, Insurance section. Primary insurance details are mandatory for third-party billing. Click Send Order to transmit the lab orders electronically to lab. Once it is electronically ordered, click Transmit to view the status of the lab order transmission. This opens up the Order Details view. Electronically sent information can be seen here and the lab orders can be printed using Print option. If the specimen is being collected at the Integrated Labs Patient Service Center, Printed order requisition copy can be handed to the patient. In Lab's Patient Service Center, Lab staff pulls the associated electronic order from Lab system and draws the specimen from patient being tested. Else, if the specimen is being collected at a practice in-house laboratory, specimen can be collected in practice and it can be transported to integrated lab for testing. In in-house specimen case, specimen label to paste on containers can be printed through transmit, print specimen label action. Specify the count of the labels to be printed and print them. Paste the printed labels on the specimen container and transport to integrated lab. Specimen label contains patient details, specimen collection date, and lab reference number. Lab identifies electronic order associated to this lab reference number and performs the test on the specimen. Creating and transmitting lab orders from lab order section without creating an encounter. Lab orders can be added without encounter from lab order section using the plus lab order button. Search for the required patient and select the search and add option to find the integrated lab and test you are looking for. Enter the AOE details if required, map the DX to the corresponding test and save the order. Click send order electronically action item. This will open up the order summary page. Enter the specimen, collection, date and time. Select the bill type based on the client and then place the lab order. 
Once the lab order is placed, the order status will be displayed under the lab order section. Print lab order option is used to download the lab orders. Lab order copy contains complete details of the tested ordered AOE, diagnosis details, billing details. The print specimen label can also be printed from the lab order section. Lab results section. In this section, we are going to see the results that are being received electronically from the integrated lab and the review workflow. Once lab completes a test, the result will be pushed electronically to CHARM. The received result will be available in lab's lab results section, as well as in the patient dashboard's lab records section. Received lab results are in unsigned status and reviewer can review the results using review action item. Result details received from lab will be displayed in the review section. After review, result can be signed in this section. Corrected result. In view scenario, lab can send corrected results for a previously sent final result. The process of reviewing the corrected result received will be the same as that of other results. Here, the status will be changed to corrected instead of final. Clicking the corrected result will show both the previous result. On signing, if the patient is already registered with CHARM PHR account, share record with patient option can be used to share the result copy to patient through PHR application. You can also send an internal message to the patient if required. Signed results are moved to signed filter view. Result report can be downloaded using export as PDF option. Manually mapping patient to an unsolicited result. Unsolicited results may be received with incorrect patient details. Such results will not be able to map to the patient automatically. They are listed in the lab results section with an unknown patient. Patient can be mapped to this result by using map patient option. Map patient view shows the patient details received in the result message and also the probable patients available in your account based off of date of birth and gender of the patient details received in the result. If the probable patients list does not have an appropriate patient, use search by patient name or record ID field to pull the matching patients list by name slash record ID criteria. Map the appropriate patient to the result. Result can be reviewed after assigning an appropriate patient. Thank you for watching this video. For any help, write an email to support at charmhealth.com. Follow us on our social media for the latest updates.